go. Alright, now, we'll let that burn a little bit more. I'm going to move the camera, and I am going to introduce you guys to the most awesome next level tinfoil dinner you've ever seen. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to do a Boy Scout tinfoil dinner. We're not going to do a hobo one, and I actually find that pretty <laughs> insulting. I really don't think hobos carry aluminum foil. Maybe an old tin pot. That's about it. I mean, come on, guys. Let's get real about that. It's either a Boy Scout dinner, it's a Girl Scout dinner, or it's a campfire dinner, or a tinfoil dinner. It ain't no hobo dinner. But what we're going to do tonight is we are going to do a Cajun campfire dinner. Yeah, that's right. Cajun campfire dinner. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. I've got me a Cajun andouille sausage. I've got me some chicken. This is some Cajun dirty rice mix. I have some peppers. The green ones are from my garden. The yellow and red one is from the store. I have an onion and I have a potato or two and a zucchini. I'm going to cut all this stuff up. We're going to put it in some foil and we're going to throw it on the fire. And I'm not going to be worrying about cross-contamination because it's all going in the same pot and cooking in the fire, right? And I'm just going to cut this in probably a fat quarter to a half an inch. Okey-dokey. So now what I got here is some olive oil. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on that. I suppose I might as well throw the chicken in next, right? All this stuff I washed it at the house before I came out here and let's see how do you do this I forgot okay we'll cut this guy in half and we'll cut it in a quarter cut it in another quarter and we'll cut it into chunks Actually, I think one tater will be enough. We'll save that one for uh, maybe for breakfast. All right, we're in business now. much more of a skinning knife than it is a chef knife, that is for sure. A little bit of onion. Now the peppers, I'll be cutting these into strips.
How to mutilate a pepper in less than 30 seconds, right guys? <laughs> Dokie. let's uh, put a green one in here. Might not be a hundred percent ripe, but it's out of my garden. Wow, nice and juicy, I guess, huh? And this is actually a yellow pepper, but it's identifying as a green pepper. Not quite ripe. I think I'm running out of room. <laughs> Excellent. If I eat this now, I guess it counts as a salad, right guys? So if I eat this, it's also a mixed salad, right? Now the rice, I'm assuming, is going to swell up from the steam and whatnot, so hopefully that's the way to do that. Some pepper. salt. I think that's plenty. <laughs> we'll drizzle the vegetables with a little bit of olive oil and we'll call that good and I'll try to wrap this up. Oh, almost forgot to put some ketchup in there for some uh, tomato base, right? I probably should use tomato paste, but uh, I don't have any, but I do have ketchup. up my salad. Alright, so I'm just kind of trying to make like a boat, I think is the way I would describe it. Try to pinch this up as good as you can. All right. Alrighty guys, and if you remember from the last time I did this, you used the last piece kind of long, ah, well, <laughs> I 
don't have quite enough because this is bigger than normal. But I'll set it in like that. I'll use my gloves. I'll be able to pull it out. Shouldn't be a problem. So now we'll set that aside. What we're going to do here, guys, is I'm going to core that apple. I'm going to put some brown sugar and cinnamon in there. I'm going to wrap it in aluminum foil, and that will be dessert later on tonight. I'm going to go get another knife. All right, we're going to do the old Boy Scout trick with the pocket knife. There we go. All right. Now for some cinnamon. So now I'll just wrap this up. And later on tonight, we'll have a baked apple. Good stuff. So let me clean up my mess, and uh, I'll throw this stuff on the fire later on. So... We have a baked apple for dessert. And we have a Cajun tinfoil dinner. See you in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, here we go. The Cajun tinfoil dinner. In about 20, 30 minutes, this is gonna be done. Alrighty guys, there you go. It's buried in the coals and uh, I guess in about 20 or 30 minutes we're going to have dinner. Yeah, I can't wait. I am so hungry. Roman noodles and salami just didn't cut it this afternoon for lunch. I am starving, so this is going to be a real treat. See you in about 20, 30 minutes, guys. Alright guys, here we go. I pulled it out of the fire a little while ago, let it rest, and so now I'm going to unveil it. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, well, you have no idea how good this smells. Of course, it goes without saying, be careful because it's hot. Liable to be steam shooting out of it. Oh man. Holy smokes. Wow. Can you guys see that? 
rice looks like it cooked. Everything looks like it cooked. The potatoes look tender. I'm going to find a piece of meat down there somewhere. Sausage looks good. Yeah, guys, I do believe this is a, a success. Potato, very good. Pepper. Mmm. Very good. Zucchini. Mmm. Hot. Very, very good. Although, I do believe you could maybe use just a little bit of hot sauce. You can't make Cajun food without putting uh, hot sauce in there, right? So yeah, guys, everything cooked down completely. It looks awesome. Oh my. And stashed in the cooler, guys, a root beer. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera off, and I am going to enjoy this. Yeah, sausage. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. I'm going to turn the camera off, and I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to eat all of it. See you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, here we go. Here's my baked apple. Yeah, brown sugar, cinnamon, sprinkled on an apple wrapped up in the fire. Nice nighttime treat. Let me uh, stir my fire up a little bit. guys here we go a baked apple if I can do this oh my goodness you guys you have no idea it's a shame there's no such thing as a smell vision Probably could have cooked it a little bit more. Actually, I have to cook it some more. Alrighty, guys, to be continued. Okay guys, baked apple take two. Let's see what it looks like now. It's probably burnt now. Oh man, that smells good. Looks like the uh, outside's burnt and the inside's done. Oh yeah, that's way better like that. Let it cool off a little bit. It's cooked. It's got the brown sugar and the cinnamon on it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'll let that sit there and cool for a couple minutes and uh, I'm going to enjoy it and then I am going to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> 